Now, some of the very first incredible pictures of damage coming into our newsroom were aerial shots. These from an NBC helicopter hovering over the rushing waters. This is Rocking R's main headquarters on the Guadalupe. The raft and tube rental company's property was completely underwater, as you can see. Now, the strong current washed away dozens of school buses like this one that they used to transport their customers up and down the river. The flood is a huge hit to the businesses that make most of, of their money in the summertime months. KXAN's Aaron Cargyle is live on the river with their stories this evening. Aaron. Well, good evening, Leslie. You would think these businesses would just be beside themselves right now, but that is not the story out here at all. Many have been totally wiped out before and are extremely optimistic. They were gearing up for the best summer in five years. One little six hour period changes it all. A downpour nobody here saw coming caused the Guadalupe to rise above Rockin' R's entire 10 acre property. The sign is the only piece hanging onto the tube rental building that collapsed near the banks, still swollen six hours after the storm. Up to 5,000 tubes are missing, and water picked up dozens of school buses used to shuttle customers and left them scattered and twisted beyond repair. Any used buses out there, we'll, we'll make sure to take a look at them. Manager Shane Wolf has been through this twice before. In 98 came up unexpectedly, as this one did. 02, we had some time to prepare for it. So the unexpected is. It's, uh, it's gut-wrenching for the most part. Now, this is Rocking R's main headquarters here. This structure was built back in 02 after the last flood and was designed to withstand floodwaters, and it worked. Six feet of water rose in the first floor, but there's no structural damage. Employees cleared out thousands of dollars worth of damaged merchandise, and around 100 volunteers showed up to help the owners get back to business. This is their job. This is how they put food on their table. So it's very devastating for them no matter what. I don't think it ever gets easier. It was the same story across the street at Green River Company. A lucrative forecast interrupted. We've barely been making enough money to stay afloat the last few years because the water's been so low. But mud caked counters and walls can all be cleaned. Hopefully we can get open by 4th of July, which is, you know, two or three weeks away. A fully stocked Bubba's bar floated a mile and a half down the river. So it's our rescue for the day. Save the beer! Right. <laughs> this truck bed full of beer won't go to waste. They plan on rebuilding, and Rockin' R hopes to be back to work in the next two weeks. By some other nature, it's like farming. I mean, we're here, and we'll take the punch. Uh, we'll wake up tomorrow and come back to work and get this thing cleaned up and get customers back out here before the end of the summer and have a good time. Now, many want to know about the popular water park Schlitterbahn. Here are aerial shots of the surf and berg section of that park. Water was completely covering that part of the park today. A spokesperson tells me most of the resort will be back open tomorrow morning at 10 a.m. sharp, and admission prices will be drastically reduced. A cruise will continue working feverishly overnight to get that park ready to go. Live in New Braunfels tonight, Aaron Cargyle, KXA and Austin News.